Hello, teacher. What are we going to learn today? Hello. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about root words and how they are used. Firstly, do you know what root words are? Hmm. No, teacher. What are root words? Root words are words that do not have any other word parts, such as ed or ing, added to them. They are the basic form of verbs. For example, sows, sowing, sowed, and sown are different forms of the verb sow. Root words of verbs do not have s, ing, ed, or the past participle en added to them. So, the root word of these verbs, sows, sowing, sowed, and sown, is so. When do we use root words? We use root words immediately after these eighteen words. They are to, let, must, do, did, does, make, made, makes, making, and models such as can, could, will, would, shall, should, may, and might. These eighteen words are very powerful, and they make sure that the verbs behind them are root words. Let's look at sentence number one. One, he eats carrots. The noun he is singular, so the verb must be singular too. So we use. Eats with an S. Let's look at sentence number two. He likes to eat carrots. Sentence two is different from sentence one because sentence two has the word two. Two is one of the eighteen words. Let's see what happens when we add the word two to a sentence. Step one. The word two. We'll look for the verb directly behind it, which is eat. Step two, it will then cut away the word part s, so we have to eat and not to eats. Let's look at this sentence. Baby Emily needs to go to the toilet. Even though baby Emily is a singular noun. We cannot write the singular verb goes. This is because go is behind to, and to is one of the eighteen words. So, es from the word go is cut. So we cannot say goes, but we have to use the root word go after to. How about this sentence? Baby Emily does not know. The way to the toilet. The word "not" is in between the verb "knows" and "does." Will "does" still cut away the "s"? We have to use the root word "no." "Does" is one of the eighteen words, and it is more powerful than other words like "not." So it can still cut away the "s" from "knows," even if "not" is in between "does" and. Knows. Now, Turbo Boy, do you understand today's lesson? Yes. First, we learn about eighteen words that are used with root words, and they are: to, let, must, do, did, does, make, make, mix, making, and models such as can, could. Will, would, shall, should, may, and might. These eighteen words are powerful, and they always look for the first verb behind them, and cut away word parts such as 
S E D I N G N E N. For example, to say "all right," she must grows up is incorrect. Must is one of the eighteen words, so the letter S from grows is removed, and the root word grow remains after must. Well done, Turbo Boy.